Today we're going to start our journey into 5.1, which is angles and radians. So the first time we're kind of getting into trigonometry. Again, we're still learning the basics of uh, how to name angles and stuff like that. So uh, just bear with us as we get a little bit deeper into this new concept. We're going to learn how to recognize the use of vocabulary of angles, use degree measure, radian measure, convert between degrees and radians, draw angles in standard position, find coterminal angles, find the length of an arc, use linear and angular speed to describe motion in a circular path. So first thing we're going to talk about is basically the new, the difference between what you already know and what you're about to learn. And uh, in geometry, you should have a, a good understanding of angles. You've studied them before. You know, if you see an angle, most of your angles are like two parallel lines or cut by transversal. They form eight different angles. Or, you know, you have a polygon, you have internal and external angles for stuff like that. Well, trigonometry is definitely different. In trigonometry, we don't deal with what we call fixed angles. Okay, what we're actually going to deal with is what we're going to deal with is rotation. Okay, so it's going to open up a lot of different things. You know, when you when you go and you talk about a, a skateboarder or a snowboarder, and they're doing 1080s or 960s or whatever it might be that they're doing in terms of their rotation, that's because they're spinning more than 360 uh, degrees. So you're going to look to see that as we kind of look at this stuff. For starters, we're going to learn about how to create angles. Okay. When we uh, create angles, they all start with the initial side. So the initial side is usually your positive x-axis. So that's what we're going to say is our initial side. So hypothetically, if we were to draw an x-y coordinate plane, it would look something like this. So the initial side is going to be this part, the positive x-axis. So kind of keep that in mind. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure, measure the rotation of our angle. So both the initial side and what we're going to talk, talk about is the terminal side are going to start right here. And we're going to rotate it. And how far we rotate it, wherever it stops, okay, this side right here, this is going to be measuring your angle, the amount of rotation for your angle. This side right here will be called your terminal side. So your terminal side is going gonna, is gonna to basically end wherever uh, your angle ends up ending. So depending on how many degrees it is. Now, uh, what we also do is we also represent this angle. You know, in algebra, we use variables to represent unknowns. So right now, we'll call this angle theta. So a lot of times, we use Greek letters to represent an unknown angle. So that angle right now will be theta. All right, moving right along. There are basically two different types. Uh, what we're going to talk about is you know, our ability to rotate in different directions. So a positive angle, anytime you have a positive angle, you're going to rotate counterclockwise. So just like the hands on a clock, okay, what you're doing is you're rotating the opposite direction you would see the hands move. So we'd start at our initial side, we'd rotate counterclockwise, and that's going to represent a positive angle. However, if you have a negative angle, you're going to end up rotating clockwise. So again, you'll start at your initial side, and you'll rotate the same direction that clock hands go, and that will represent a negative angle. So that's just some basics, and we'll get into some others later.